Uh, back to a story which has warmed the hearts of many of us. Just over a week ago, Alan Barnes was mugged outside his home. His collarbone was broken when his attacker pushed him to the ground. When Katie Cutler heard that he was too afraid to go back home, she started an online donation page to raise £500 to help him relocate. Since then, more than 20,000 people have pledged money, raising more than £280,000. Well, yesterday, Alan and Katie met for the first time at his sister's house, and we're delighted to say we can speak to both of them now. Alan's in Newcastle this morning. We'll speak to him in just a moment. Katie's with us here in the studio. Katie, £280,000. You must wonder where it's going to end up. Oh, it's very surreal. I can't believe it. Fantastic. And, and uh, you met Alan yesterday for the first time. How was that? It was lovely. It was magical. Really magical. Um, Alan, let's talk to you as well. We've seen pictures of you meeting um, Katie. Just tell us about when you heard she was first raising money. What did you think that somebody was going to do this for you? Well, I first heard last Thursday morning, my sister Carol told us of, there'd been a thousand pound raise or thereabouts. And uh, she asked us if I knew this Katie Cutler. I said, no, I, I didn't expect anything to be done for me. I just thought I'd, I'd had a, an interview from the Evening Chronicle and I thought that would be it. So, and then all this has just taken off. It and certainly then, has, then, yes, Alan. It's a staggering <laughs> amount of money. Um, yes. Just tell us, we've seen pictures of you meeting Katie. What did you say to this young lady when you met her? Oh, well... She's just absolutely wonderful girl, lady, whatever. She's, uh, <coughs> she gave us a hug and I don't usually give us people who, are, who are, um, don't know hugs and we chatted a bit and um, it was just amazing, absolutely. She said it was like a dream. <laughs> mm, I bet it is. So um, it's an awful lot of money. We understand it's about £280,000. Um, what are you thinking of doing with it? Are you going to take some advice? What will you do? I'm take yes, a solicitor in gospel shop uh, offered us some advice, going to offer some advice, so I'll just have to take it from there, but it will be put to good use. So, huh. um, yes. Lovely. Well, Kenny, how did you first yeah. get in, involved in this? What inspired you to start raising money? Um, to be honest, when I read Alan's story, I was, I was pretty upset. Um, and I thought, even if I just set up a little page just to try and get a little, a little bit of money maybe towards carpets mm. or um, curtains, just, just a little bit, just to help. And lots of people, and not only have they been donating money, but lots of people are, do are offering other things as well, aren't they, Katie? Yes, we've got um, a full kitchen being offered, a conservatory, bathroom, there's an electrician, Tyler, you, you name it, everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it speaks volumes, not, to, not just about the wonderful things that you've done, but also actually about how generous people out there can be if their hearts are touched. Yes, definitely. I mean, I, I said I said I was surprised, but I, I'm actually not. I know there is some lovely people out there, and it just shows shows how kind people are. Mm. And then, can I just talk to you again as well? So this, um, you were attacked outside your house or near your house. Um, I know that you're staying with your sister at the moment. What do you think you're going to do? Are you going to try and go back home? No, I'm not going back home. I, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm just staying at my sister's till me um, fractured collarbone heals, and then see what happens from after that. Um, but I just take each day as it comes, the way things are happening at the minute. So, I mean, you don't know what's going to turn up the next day, so just mm. have to wait and see. You really don't, do you? What would your message be to all those thousands of people who've um, given money? Well, and thank you doesn't seem to be enough, but I really appreciate it. And uh, especially when it, it shows that Katie doing it being mm. just nearly 22 is um, just absolutely amazing and I like, I do a lot of time with the youth so when I'm out walking and I don't feel like a pension, I'll just put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Katie, it's um, life changing for, for, for Alan what, what you've done. In a sense, this whole experience may be life changing for you uh, as well. Has it made you think, well, if I've done this once, what could we do in the future? Yes, definitely. I have been asked by a lot of people if I could help them out too. Um, obviously, I've still got a family to look after and a business to run. Mm. But if there is anything I can do for anyone, I'll definitely try. I'm sure you will be asked to do things again. Um, Alan, just really quickly, how are you doing? How is the collarbone? Is it getting a bit better? 
um, a, a little bit every day. You can move, pick things up a bit more, a little bit more every mm. day. So it's uh, I've got a sling on, and it just has, that's got to stay on till I go back to the uh, hospital oh. in two weeks. Well, it's just one week now, so it's just. You don't wear them in bed, though. <laughs> That's good. Brilliant. Alan, real pleasure to speak to you. Thank you very much indeed for your time. Katie, congratulations. Thanks yeah. very thank you. much. And thank if you do start something else, come back and tell us all about oh, it. Oh, definitely. I will do. Katie Cutler, thank you thank very much. You. Exactly. Uh, quarter past eight. This is Breakfast from BBC News. Our main stories here this morning.